This is James. This is Corwin. And welcome, welcome to, to This Movie's Gay. Do we say it together? We do, like every okay. time. All I'm pretty right. sure. I, I haven't don't know. listened in a while, though. So uh, let's go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hiatus, more like bye bye, atus. <laughs> For now, or like, yeah. Hi, ate this. Uh, okay. Hi, ate this. You My name is Corwin, introduced? and I hi ate this. You haven't been oh, introduced, shit. Nicole. Oh shoot! <laughs> you know her from DarlingHomebody.com. It's Nicole, and we're back hey. for this episode. Hey. This episode, a special Pride edition. Oh yeah, it's still Pride Month. Yeah. I'll We're, get this yeah. out before the end of June. Hell yeah. I'd like to officially declare that I am pansexual. Whoa. Whoa. And not Whoa. even on Whoa. mostly Whoa. speaking Sentai, you come out. <laughs> come on. <laughs> even though, like, you've talked about, like, slightly. Yeah. It's always been, like, ambiguous. Uh -huh. But that's why I'm saying I'm declaring it. It wasn't, like, me when I was always talking about how I wish I were Reen from uh, <laughs> Die Ranger, <laughs> where it's like, oh, no, James, you're just, you're subconsciously saying this. You're not being ambiguous. Yeah. And me saying that, yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying, yeah, let me get up into those cuddles. Cuddles? Is yeah. that what you're calling boobs? No! <laughs> Nicole, this is this movie's gay. We're not we're not explicit on this show ever. Oh, okay. What? I'm kidding. You're like, I'm forgetting everything. What what century did we start this in? Oh, the yeah, 22nd. I'm like, how, do you, how, how did you manage that with watching the movies you've watched? We talk we about it artistically. They were called <laughs> Eating Out. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's it's drama seven facts, sir? <laughs> you know the se the seventh movie, Mr. Baraka. There's supposed to be a seventh. I'm guessing because of the pandemic that kind of haltered. Oh wow, yeah, we need to check in on that. Q Allen, we, baby. We definitely need to get that one done. No, uh, also Corwin, don't act like I haven't checked in recently on it. Um, I free. I'm like, <laughs> where? <laughs> where is in this? every day? Not every day. It's every day, James. No, it's not. I see the text updates every day. Then I don't not speak into the <laughs> mic. <laughs> It's been a long time since you've been in front of one of these bad boys. It really has. It's all because the times we've recorded formulaic, I've just been uh -huh. at my at my home mm -hmm. that is no longer my home. Uh huh. And when you were on the two hundredth episode of Mostly Speaking Sentai, you weren't here. Yeah, that was over the mic too. I think you're the friend who comes over most to just hang out and not do a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well. Nicole did that test class that oh, I came yeah. to, and uh -huh. that was very fun. I consider that hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Powerpuff Girls, uh -huh. we were just chilling and watching that, and I wasn't yeah. doing it for an episode, just watching. Yeah, but everyone else who was over mine, yeah, everyone else who was over for, for Powerpuff Girls have been here to podcast. Oh, yeah. I feel I like no, but Sean comes over. Yeah. Yeah, he went for Goose Miss. Yeah, we had Goose Miss. Oh, wait, no, we did podcast on Goose Miss. We watched Frosty Returns. Oh, God, yeah. that's such a good movie. I've probably seen it, but cannot name it off the top of my head. John Goodman is Frosty the Snowman. It sounds He sounds like a Frosty the Snowman. Yeah, he's very good at it. He says, happy birthday, Iggy, yeah. I mean... Maybe I'll like it more when John Goodman says it. Yeah. <laughs> I I have what some people call shrill voice. Oh no. I don't I don't like that. I don't that think I've movie. ever been I don't think I've ever heard someone say that about you. Oh yeah, me either. But Nicole, you don't <laughs> like Frosty Returns? Like it's fine. Oh it's my like there's something about it is like really creepy and off putting to me. I th it's probably the score or something and how it feels. Is it the one that has the weird like it's live, but then there's like the weird ana animated no. frosty? No. No. no, it's the oh, 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 let it snow. That's one of the songs in it. I no idea. The guy who did the Rugrats 
music. Did nothing. This. There is at this point. There is nothing that you're gonna say that's gonna make me recall this movie. There's an old man that just hates snow so much. Yeah, that he and he has a cat. Isn't that every Christmas movie in the snow a ever? Canned spray that you spray on the snow and it it goes away. Remember that rom com oh, no. we watched where the bad guy, like the Mr. Rich Money Bags, was Colin Mockery from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yeah. Wow. It was like a Christmas tree lot, something like that. It was that. really bad. How did we yeah. get onto Christmas movie? I don't know. Frost, <laughs> Wait, oh, because Christmas. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Podcast. I was here and recorded in person the Nicolas Cage one. Oh, yeah. Uh, didn't we watch The Rock? Uh huh. But I think that's the last time I came in person for a podcast. Yeah. I'm going to move your mic down a little. I mean, do what you want to do. I, I can actually be active. I'm just. Yeah, I'm Corwin so nervous. Can do it. I'm so nervous. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me? No, oh. oh my god, the cat! Butter. I'm getting it from every direction. So, what are we discussing today? Uh, today, we're discussing the uh, lovely, lovely film uh, called Bottoms. Yeah. What year did that come out? It came out in 2023. It is very recent. Yeah, I saw yeah. it twice in theaters. And then again, now. So uh -huh. that's three, three watches for me, which is a lot. Yeah. Especially in this amount of time. Especially in this amount of time. Less than a year. I think I would, that recently the only... Yeah. I mean, I do it with Troll 2. So like besides Troll 2, uh, probably Voyage of the Rock Aliens... I watched that once, then like again, then I fell asleep to it when Nicole was out of town. And then I loved it so much. Corey and I did it for a podcast. Yeah, some movies. Yeah. For me, it's uh, You Should Meet My Son is one of those that I'll watch over and over mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And then uh, every year I do the that one Christmas uh, S and M. No. <laughs> No. Wait, what Christmas movie? The Chris Christmas Prince? No, no, no. We watched it for this. We've watched it twice. Oh, I thought it was Scrooge and Marley. No. no. Wh what was the Yuletide? Yeah, make the Yuletide gay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Those are the those are two that I watch often. And then if I wanna if I'm in an artistic mood, I'll watch Boys or Jongens. It's I don't know if we've watched that for this podcast. I don't think so. It's more of an artistic Cinematography, it's beautiful cinematography. Mm -hmm. um, it's still like high school uh, coming of age movie though. All right. But it's very like, it's in Norwegian or something, one of the Scandinavian languages. And it's great. Nicole, what's a movie you love watching over again? Well, I have depression. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't I think you mean, you mean diarrhea? diarrhea? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So as a teen, one of my pastimes was watching movies alone in my room. So I, I've watched the same movie multiple times for a lot of movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So The Dark Knight, I've seen like a million times. I'm the Joker. The Holiday, I've seen a million times. Oh, Ratatouille, no, I've seen a million times. Uh, there's a rat on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker Punch. Ooh. Kung there Fu was a Panda. Sucker Punch in this movie. Karate. Except, except that one, I'm like, I don't want to watch that. I've seen it enough. Kung um, Fu Panda? Oh, fucking Hot Rod, dude. <laughs> 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 it's just a sample. Yeah. Mine as a kid was Detroit Rock City. That one I watched a, a butt ton. And Weird Science. Yeah, I don't like Weird Science, but Detroit Rock City is fun. Yeah, that movie does not blow dogs for quarters. <laughs> That's a quote from the movie. I didn't watch either one of those. Okay, they say disco blows dogs for quarters. Then Corey and I have just been using that as, instead of saying things suck, we say that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I it's truly, I don't remember how we do this show. I mean, we talk, and then we start talking about the the movie. Okay, all right. So we can get into the movie. Let's do it. Um, yeah the the cat butter's <laughs> going crazy, guys. <laughs> Lot of opinions about this movie. It, from it the feels cat. very much, you know, when Franklin was around. He'd come in, he'd just like scream, and he would always pick up on Mike, and then he would just <laughs> flop down at one of our feet. It was great. It was a great time. 
this movie. James, did you? How'd you feel about it? This movie rocks. It's I amazing. Knew it would. I knew you would love it. Uh-huh. I was so I was like, let me find something so James and I can hang out. And then we can have Nicole on if she wants, and we can watch this movie. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to find something that would uh, I feel like both of y'all would love, and that one was my number one choice. Hell yeah. Um, and, you know, if I had to pick another, it would probably be Saltburn. I feel like that one would also make you... Okay. But it's not... I feel like this one's gayer, which is great. That's why I chose it. All right. Yeah, Z said to watch Saltburn. Mm-hmm. People yeah. have been telling me, like, mm-hmm. that Saltburn's... Like, it's not gross in a cool way. Yeah, there's a movie we've watched for this podcast that Saltburn reminds me of. So, like, after you watch it, Saltburn, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll be able to say, you know what movie I'm talking about. You won't, you don't right now, what, uh, but in it, the future. Is it the one where they throw oranges at someone? It is not the one that okay. they throw oranges All at right. someone. Dang it. That, that, was a, that was a fun movie, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're throwing oranges at uh, Emma Stone. No, I I thought they were throwing oranges at just like a random random woman. Oh, I thought it was Emma Stone. It might have been Emma Stone. No, it's Saltburn. No, it's, it's <laughs> no, it's not. And Emma Stone, that I think Saltburn. I think Emma Stone was showing her she had her boobies out. I mean, there was a lot of boobies out in that movie. Yeah. I that moment I don't remember as Emma Stone being or maybe, involved other than just seeing it. Were they just throwing it at a man who was a little light in his loafers? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Guys, it was a while ago. It's been ago. a while. It's been that Not was Not a little fruity. Oh yeah. I should but I was calling wow. back a thing <laughs> we said last time. Because yeah, if yeah. he's getting oranges pelted at him, he would be a, yeah. a literally fruity. Yeah, literally fruity. Oh dang, that's like a hey, I'm hella gay. Say literally fruity. I'm literally fruity over here. <laughs> uh huh. Come on. They call me juicy fruit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what fruit do you think? Like, at, you you rarely eat food when you are also chewing gum. Okay, if you were to. Take some juicy fruit in. What fruit would you be like comfortable eating while still chewing gum? That's juicy fruit. I guess probably watermelon. Okay. Watermelon's got a weird texture, though. I feel like it would be real hard to keep the watermelon and the juicy fruit separated. Okay. No, I, I think like you just, watermelon's just water, you know? Exactly. So it's kind of like you just push it with your mouth and like keep the this over here, the gum in your cheek. And you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair, fair. I feel like I would go with something smaller, like pomegranate seeds or something. Okay. Listeners, as the sober one, I should tell you, they are both stone. I'm I'm not. I'm so... Just so you're like... I'm straight (laughs) edge, ma'am. I'm just so you understand what's happening right now. Do you see all of my dare (laughs) memorabilia with my Yogi Bear collection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, You want to know who I respect? Not yourself? Parents, teachers, and the police because (laughs) Yogi Bear taught me that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, the... uh, (laughs) For some weird reason, a bear version of Snagglepuss taught me, like, hey, when you see a stranger, run in danger. (laughs) Okay? And you're trying to tell me- Just any time you see a stranger, run the other way. Yes. See, and that might have helped them in this movie when they were getting their ass beat Uh by the football players randomly that we heard about the whole time leading up. Uh, to the end of this movie. We also, what we do normally is we make the guests give a quick oh, synopsis yeah. of the give movie. Give us a synopsis. Oh, okay. I forgot wow. we did that. Oh, in like four sentences. What I, it can or be whatever. as many or as little sentences as you want. Two high schoolers. Two of them. Start a fight club because <laughs> they have crushes on these other two high schoolers and they're gay and (laughs) (laughs) and they lie about being in juvie so everyone thinks they're tough Uh uh-huh there's a football game you ever lie about being in juvie that everyone's really excited (laughs) about and yeah they learn how to fight and at the pep rally or something it it comes out that they lied about being in juvie and that they started the club just so that they could 
get with their crushes and they save the day at the football game when the rival team tries to murder Jeff, yeah. the quarterback. With pineapple, baby. That you don't want to be eating gum with. And it's a real cartoon of a movie. Oh, man, it's so good. It's so good. Good job, Nicole. You did a great synopsis. Did I? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you hit the major points. Uh-huh. You didn't talk about anyone getting fingered, though. I think yeah, that was mostly... Implied. It was mostly implied, and then we were, like, yelling it. Yeah, when I said they're gay, everyone was like, oh, yeah, they got fingered. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, j- I had to write this down because I th- I was said it like as a joke in my head, but I was like, wait, no, I really did think that kids that went to juvie were cool. Okay. Because it's like, whoa, you like lived there. <laughs> I know how it sounds like, hey, I'm trying to be straight edge right now, but it just like was a different life experience than what everyone else was yeah, having. Yeah, yeah. So it was interesting. Yeah. I cannot recall a time of ever thinking of anyone that was like in juvie yeah as cool i mean i just don't that wasn't ever on my radar i feel like yeah i mean i guess i hung out with shitheads <laughs> I get, i'm sorry i mean i i did know like we had alternative school or something like that and that's where the mm. the uh troubled youth went and i knew some of them but I didn't know anyone in juvie or that like came out from juvie. Yeah, I just remember not specifically knowing them, but it's mm-hmm. like a friend of a friend like, oh, yeah, they went to juvie or someone in a higher grade. Mm-hmm. And it's just wild like that we send kids to jail. That is wild. Isn't it? Yeah. Unless yeah. they're like murderers, like there should. Oh, you got you got caught smoking weed. Don't send them to juvie. Yeah, Yeah. that's wild. I've been thinking about like how like grown adult men are like afraid of like trans and queer children. And it's like, what? And they're like, I'm you know, like homophobes and transphobes are like, it's like you're you're literally just afraid of them. They're like, I'm not afraid. If you go in the wrong bathroom, I have a gun. And it's like, I don't know. It seems like you're afraid of them. Like they're afraid of the juveniles. The kids, yeah. So yeah, the, it's the, you like have you're, to you're throw afraid them away. of children. That's wild. Yeah, but you know, if like a kid like back talks me, like, yeah, of course I'm gonna be afraid for my life, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they do that? They have no respect for authority. Yeah, That's yeah, like yeah. frightening when anyone <laughs> talks back to me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you mean like talk back or if just anyone responds to you at all? Like mainly talk back? <laughs> I'm terrified. So you're like, no, you can't have that. And someone's like, yeah, I can. And you're like, oh, fuck, I'm out of here. I'm like, done. If a kid was like caught driving without a license, but they have a learner's permit, but still like that's scary. <laughs> They're on the road. They that should be scary. thrown away. Wow. No. <laughs> no. Because uh, I'm scared of them. Excuse you. Yes. No. Excuse me too. Excuse you. <laughs> I'm a straight edge. As James is making smoking uh, hand gestures. A-, a lot of my stuff is just quotes followed by like some notes. One of them says like, I don't talk. Yeah. They were coming up with a game plan of how to get with their crushes and one of them's like, no, 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 no. I, I can't talk to her. I don't. This is my plan. I don't talk to the bitch for years. <laughs> and flash forward our 20th anniversary. <laughs> Reunion. Um, Jinx. Now you owe me a soda. It would better be a poppy soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I thought this was just going to be Corwin, but I guess I have to open this to the public. Is there anyone you'd love to revenge slash hate fuck at your 20th year reunion? No, I would okay. say no. I would say no to that. I didn't really, there wasn't anyone I really hated. Yeah. I yeah. Or revenge, you know? You don't want to get revenge on anyone? No. Maybe a teacher? No. Okay, all right. <laughs> I made good grades. Why would I need to take revenge on a teacher? Okay, Nicole? No. All right. There's no, like, bullies or, like, bullies we could cook. Like, we... 
what? They think they're gonna have a three way with us, but no, we just like kind of. James, what kind of what kind of trauma are you hung, holding on to from high school? No, I mean like. Do we need to get into ha- that? No. This, no. Yeah, I think you only asked that question because you have an answer. Of anyone, I'd like to. Well, like yeah, teachers. <laughs> 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 Mister. Oh my oh, god! Oh, I gotta, I gotta god. bleep that. he was a bad vice principal now it was bleeped but people that know me can narrow that down wow that's wild he (laughs) sucked he was always trying to push jesus on me and i'm like you can't do that just because you know my mom is a christian you can't do that yeah but like uh, like the idea of like a hate fuck or revenge fuck is so like (laughs) <laughs> visceral but like passionate that it's yeah. like why would you want that with him i don't know <laughs> to string him make him question his real <laughs> his faith of like yeah it was you're, so you're good into this <laughs> he's like oh man hey that would make him a better person yeah, that would okay. make him a better person all right i guess doing I'm good I'm, doing good for the world it's no longer revenge now it's just like me <laughs> providing a service you're not getting paid for what the hell <laughs> but it's gonna be so good he's gonna pay <laughs> and he's gonna fucking pay <laughs> <laughs> And that's the same kind of line of thought that the that PJ and Josie had creating this, you know, this fight club. They're gonna uh-huh. they're gonna fight fight and fuck. That's what's gonna happen. That's a G.G. Allen song if I've ever heard one. <laughs> oh my god! So well, PJ's talking to Brittany or Brit Brittany, <laughs> whichever one you choose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And just kind of going like, oh my god, like you're so skinny, you're so <laughs> tiny. Like, I love that moment so much. And goes, you could totally eat food and digest it and like turn it into poop. Like, let's go get a hot dog. You should really eat a hot dog. And our friend MC Deep, when I was like first like trying to lose weight Mm -hmm. and uh, which looking back, yes, I was very skinny. He used to be like, dude, just eat a burger, okay? Like, please. (laughs) You have to. Which, in retrospect, you know, I'm always the last to know that I have something. Like, he's like, you have an eating disorder. Yeah. But screw him. (laughs) Wow. Um, I love that moment for PJ because it it looked like it was working. Like, it seemed like Britney was enjoying it until, until, like, she pushed on the bun part and then... And then it all fell apart. But it was it was it was a fun start to the movie and kind of gave us a nice tone for how the movie was going to go. So it Mm -hmm. was the beginning of of not being shocked when they just murder a whole football team at the end. (laughs) Nicole, would you love to just watch like a tall, slender woman eat food? Sure. Okay, hell yeah. I'll write that on for your 30th. (laughs) <laughs> Gotta make sure there's a tall, there's a leggy burlesque lady there. Okay. Burlesque. Hopefully, I spelled that right. Dialed it. <laughs> burlesque hot dog. I'll remember. I'll remember. Please don't. You're gonna look at those notes in like three months and be like, "What the hell was I talking no, about?" More like in like oh, four two days. years, because like I. I do this side, and then once I'm done, I, like, flip to the other side. So that's just when you'll get back to them? Yeah, well, uh, this one's almost done, but I can see when, according to an idiot, was on Sam and Max, like, maybe a year and a half ago. So uh, it's, like, favorite alien movie, hmm? If planets are islands in space, what are the continents? That's a pretty trippy thought. I guess the galaxies? Yeah. Or maybe the turtle's back we're all on. Mm-hmm. You subscribe to that theory, don't you? The speck of dust we're floating on. Oh, dang. We're like, who's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nuts? Like, yeah. we're on a larger planet and we're just dust being flown through the air. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely a moment where, like, Nicole saying, you're both very high, and then you going, no, I'm straight edge, does not... Like, it doesn't vibe with the moment that's no, happening Nicole right now. No, Nicole was doing the same thing, and she's straight edge as well. Yeah, it's like, 
kind of ironic to be like, hey, kids, read this Dr. Seuss book by this guy who was clearly on a lot of drugs. On a lot of drugs. No, I think it was just that dog in him. No, dude. No, he was on a lot of drugs, I think. So many drugs. I think he was trying to be like a poet laureate, but he's just like couldn't get to it. And he's just like, oh, God dang it. I can only write kids' books. I think there's a anger in Dr. Seuss literature. Okay. It's not at the forefront, but like it, the most, the Grinch, the Grinch is his frustrations that he can't win in this world of poetry. He's not good enough, but by the end, he realizes, oh, I found this kid shit, and you know, like <laughs> I'm the king of it. Hey, James, what's your next note for the movie? Oh, okay, shit. Uh, yeah, so they nudge the star football player, the captain of the team, Jeff. They nudge his leg and he can we, acts, what's up? Can we take a moment just for Jeff? His jersey on the back just said Jeff, uh-huh. implying that that's his last name. And they just called him, his his uh, football buddy called him Jeffrey. So I'm assuming from all of that information that his name is Jeffrey Jeff. I hope so. And that's what I'm living with from now on. Possibly, possibly. I was just thinking like, it's, you don't need to put the last name because everyone knows who Jeff is. Oh yeah. It's like he's Madonna of that school. Yeah, Mm -hmm. exactly. And that kind of symbolizes that there can only be one Jeff. So if there are other Jeffs in the school, once you hit high school and this Jeff is there, you have to go by your middle name. Yeah, but possibly. What, but what if someone's name was Jeffrey Jeff Jameson, you know? So then do they go by Jameson? Yes. All right. I feel like the back of the jersey would say Jameson. No, but I'm saying... In normal school, like if like, oh, hey, if Jeff, there was an if there was you only could only have one kid of each uh-huh. name. Yeah. Oh, 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 just of Jeff, just of Jeff. And they had to change and go and they only had Jeff's in their name. What about a Hefe? And they're going to go by Big J. All right. Hey, Big J. What about Hefe? Can you still be Hefe? I mean, sure. Okay. If you want. It's, it's a like nickname. Jeff. Nicknames can be like anything. My nickname to a lot of people is Core. All right. I go like, winning. Winning. Yeah. My roommates call me Ween. All right. <laughs> so it's like, you know. I think I just call you Corwin. Yeah. Because my name winning. is like a nice, my name is, is a nice like shape, I feel. Yeah. For saying it. The so, meter of Corwin is impeccable. Yeah. So like it, it doesn't really need a nickname. Uh-huh. The core came about from typing it um, instead of typing out mm-hmm. Corwin because that is a little longer. So it's just core. And yeah, ween is just because my roommates would say Corween. And it would, you know. And then it just turned into ween. ween. Yeah. Like the band. Sure. Next like the note? hollow. Not the hollow. Can we also talk about how, the, so nudge the football player. Oh, I guess we're not even, we're not to it yet. The classroom. Well, now we are to it. We are to it. Did you finish what you were going to be saying about the nudging him and him uh, so, yeah. sobbing? Well, I was just going to say kids love to milk crutches in high school. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there would be, there's always one kid who just seems to always be in crutches for yeah. probably yeah. legitimate reasons. But it's I like, mean, it takes several months for bones to heal. No, but like th- multiple times throughout their tenure, they would be in crutches. They're very active, very active children. Not a lot of milk. They need oh. to drink more milk. They need to quit milk in the crutches. And how about milk a cow? <laughs> No, not milk the cow. Uh huh. What what else kind of milk can you get bones from? I mean, I mean, you just need any milk that has calcium. I'm pretty sure like goat's milk and stuff has calcium as well. So uh, cats, the purring, the frequency c- helps bone growth and density. Wonder if cats' milk also does the same. I don't want to look into that. I don't want that thought out there. <laughs> I, I don't want that in the universe. That's why cats can fall off from stuff and never break a bone. It's because they get cat milk from a young age, and then they're just, like, indestructible. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I don't yeah. think that's true. Uh, but damn. that man was milking those uh-huh. crutches because he came into the classroom and was on them, and... At the very end of class, he wasn't even walking with them anymore. Oh, yeah. He, he got out on handed the f- them off to someone else. And then he, on the field later, he had them again, and he just threw them. 
So he didn't need them. He was just using them as a prop. I wish I could be used as a prop. Well, yeah, because you saw how hard they hit him. <laughs> it was a tap. And then James was like, they could have gone backwards. I'm like, yeah, yeah they, they could uh-huh. have. They didn't. And then Isabel, who the whole point was her getting in the car and getting a ride home so that she wasn't around Jeff anymore. She just got out of the car and left. Well, I think because he's... Well, yeah, because he was on the ground. Yeah. You know? Well, she didn't even check on him. She just walked away. Because she's done yeah, with it. She was like, she's All right. done. They were like, I'm going to back up and drive out of here. And she was like, nah, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going a different way. At this point, both Nicole and I said, have you ever seen the movie Detention from 2012? Probably not. I have not seen the movie Detention from 2012. It is very much like this, but a lot more manic. And mm-hmm. with a lot of sci-fi and elements. A, uh, yeah, a lot weirder. Yeah, it gets it real gay? weird. Is it? I don't think so. No. Uh, Damn. No. Too bad. Can't watch it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it's very good, guys. Check it out. We did an episode of This Existed about it, and Corey loved it, too. Nice. Yes. A cat hey! got on my lap. <laughs> Um, I mean, if it was if it was like this movie, I'm sure it was. It's great. So, uh, yeah. When they were ta- they get this group together of ladies for this fight club, and which they only have to do a fight club because they got in trouble mm-hmm. for bumping Jeff's leg and almost ruining their chance to destroy the other high school yeah. for this high school rivalry, which is important to know. And when they're getting in trouble, they're like, oh, we we were, you know, just uh, we're starting a club for defending ourselves so that they didn't get in trouble. And that's how they started their fight club. Mm-hmm. And they wanted just like uh, PJ mainly just wanted uh, hot ladies in there. Mm-hmm. But they're talking about like the women who decided to join saying like they're all sixes at best. Uh huh. And one of them was like, oh, well, like. This person's pretty cool, but, like, only if she'll stop huffing paint. And then the other one goes, she'll never stop huffing paint, (laughs) which is, like, a lot of my, like, my friends, people probably said, like, they'll never stop huffing Freon. Yeah. Oh, no. So, we also didn't talk about that man in the cage in the classroom, just... Yeah, because... The whole time. uh, My, no, uh, the first time I notated him was the, like... The, the ba- fight? Th- yeah, the fight scene. Oh, no. Because I... he, like, uh, it's like, oh, then he's always in a cage, as Nicole said. Yeah, I yeah. I saw it. I was like, is that a kid in a cage in the back of the class? <laughs> and then it never showed that corner again until the fight scene uh, in the caf- in the gymnasium or whatever. Which Hazel was doing great in that. Why was that? Why was that? A, yeah. a sign to the school that they're not a good club or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, he was like the captain of the wrestling team. Yeah. Or champion of the wrestling team or something like no, that. No, of and the boxing. Like, of the, yeah, 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 yeah. So why would they expect her to beat him, mm-hmm. even if they were, you know, juvie trained, when he's supposed to be, like, this great fighter? Yeah, he's been training forever in, like, it, it lives his life in a cage, whereas... <laughs> They've been training they, for less than a semester, yeah. probably. And it, it, It's max 10 weeks, I th- oh no, like 30 days, because that's when the... The Huntington... Yeah, the... Down yeah. Thing. yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe it was started at 100 days, but that doesn't seem right. I don't know. I because didn't look at it. 100 days into school semester, you're in December now. Yeah, I mean, I Football's think... Football's done. Oh, when is... I feel like, doesn't it go to, like, October or something? Yeah, but into December, that's done. Yeah, maybe they were in October. But regardless, like, she did great against him. Yeah. She was doing great. If I was in this wacky situation, I'm like, hey, they actually, they did a good job, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Considering that at the end, when they were fighting the other football players, he got taken down by just one one other football player. Yeah. So. Maybe that football player was just a better football player. Mal. I mean, if that was the case, why why do they need to murder the team? I'll get you there. I'll get you there. Oh, I was insinuating <laughs> that this was what football was in was this universe is murdering each other. Yeah. Fighting to a death at least. 
I mean, the crowd did seem shocked that that happened. But then they were into it. Yeah. Yeah. And no witnesses because the other side, no one showed up. Which is weird. It feels like this is a ghost team. Yeah. They just hire... Like, I don't know how many people are on a football team. 16. They just hire 16 people to come in to beat up every year. That's their big rivalry. The school itself is the one that's beating up the children. Oh, okay. And then announcing that the children got beat up to stoke the li- the rivalry. Yeah, this part, it's not that it's not funny. Like, a, like I get it, it's funny, but it feels more ominous. That, so, like, I'm like, I need answers. I'm kind of scared about this. Yeah, with the side missing. Yeah. Another one that was wild was just, I mean, we knew it was going to happen because Hazel has, throughout the entire movie, not understood sarcasm. Mm-hmm. So that's how all of the rumors have gotten started is because Hazel just does not get it. And Hazel was like, a bomb. And we were like, oh, that's not going to happen. And then <laughs> yeah. where the fuck is Hazel under the car setting a bomb? And accidentally said it for 15 seconds instead <laughs> of minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> Which I think 15 minutes is too long because someone could, like... Could have gotten in the car, yeah. gotten hurt, yeah. But it would have gotten exploded. Yeah. Would've, maybe Jeff would have died. And then they couldn't have come together to save Jeff from the pineapple mm-hmm. sprinklers. They would have been the pineapple sprinklers. They would have been the pineapple sprinklers. They that- would have ruined everything. That's a good band name. Pineapple Sprinklers? Yeah, the you Pineapple Sprinklers. What what genre? I think it would be like loungy beach music. Loungy, okay, okay. Like some saxophone and stuff in it? I don't know, maybe. Brass. Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah, all right. Maybe more of like a muted trumpet. A muted trumpet, okay, uh-huh. okay. No French horn? <laughs> Two French horn. <laughs> Three turtle uh, dove. I don't know why. I felt like as soon as I was starting to say it, I was like, this one's getting Nicole. And then it did. (laughs) Uh, Beautiful. So they're going around saying like why they want to be in this fight club. And Mm -hmm. the one, is this the one who will never give up Huffing Huffing Paint? The one that says her stepdad? Yeah. Yeah. She she goes, uh, and I'll be able to finally kill my stepdad. (laughs) And then later she says, I know everyone knows what's going on between me and my stepdad. (laughs) And and everyone just kind of looks at each other awkwardly. And then they just continue. Yeah. And see, that's the type of person that I was friends with. (laughs) (laughs) But she then explains that the stepdad just wants to do Friday movie night. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't know what that means. No, we do. It's just Friday movie night. Why would she want to kill him for just a Friday movie night? That's the joke. That he's like just a good... He just wants to connect with this teen and she just wants to murder him. That's how teens are. Yeah. Especially the stepdads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever have a stepdad? I did. Yeah, I do. I still have a stepdad. As an adult or as a teen? As a teen. Okay. And as an adult. He's my stepdad now. Yeah. When he started coming around, was was he like, hey, sport, let's do some stuff? And you're like, ugh. He was not. Okay. (laughs) That did not happen. That's not the dynamic that we had. What about Brian? No, I've never, he was never like, let's go do a thing together. Until now. Kind of. He said, hey, let's do Indianapolis together. He's like, hey, come to the cabin and hang out with me. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to Garcia's. Yeah. But like, I, I'm not saying that in like a negative way. That's just like not how he is. Yeah. Or at least how he was. Yeah. Yeah. And that was fine. He was a dad who partook in sports um, that the kids were doing. (laughs) Yeah. Like he was, I remember, like I see he he was like a coach and such. Yeah. And he was like there, you know, he was there. Yeah. Whereas my father was not. He was too busy playing hockey. (laughs) On the, on the PlayStation 2. <laughs> yeah, drinking a Jack and Coke. Damn, dude. Yeah. I hear you can get one of those for like $48 at a concerts now. Wow. That's too expensive. Yeah. That, but you know, when you got to get buzzed, you got to get buzzed. No, thank you. That's to when infinity. you just bring in a flask. I just butt chug before the concert. <laughs> Not the butt ch- I thought you were straight edge. Uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> 
Obviously. If it doesn't go in the mouth, it doesn't count. Anal doesn't count, guys. Anal doesn't count. You Down heard it from south. James first. Yeah. Or maybe not first. That's okay. Yeah. Everyone uh, who's listened to this, this isn't the first time they've heard someone say anal Anal doesn't count. (laughs) Only in the mouth, not in the south. Only in the mouth, not in the south. Well, like your bussy too, you know? Yeah, it's south. But uh, like a vagina, I mean. That's cheating. (laughs) What else would it be? The pee hole? You know there's three holes down there. God, know your own anatomy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes? Thank you for that. Uh, You're welcome. I know you know your anatomy. You know it like the back of your hand because that is your anatomy. (laughs) So I'd hope you'd know it. The cats are being very talkative again. So they want to uh, stop doing this. They think it's going to, like... Because they can't get a proper sponsor to to monitor a teacher to yeah yeah to co-sign on this to be there because it's an after-school activity like a supervisor yeah, yeah. someone to be like hey you you guys aren't just like huffing paint are you yeah you guys aren't just like punching each other in the face in uh-huh. the school gymnasium are you <laughs> and. Uh, I think it's Hazel says something like, oh, we have to keep going. Like, we can really, like, learn something and give these girls what they need. And then PJ says, no, if we keep going, we can put our fingers in each other. Just like, grow up. Just grow up. <laughs> That's my favorite, like, insult. <laughs> Just tell grow someone up. to grow up. <laughs> Say that to, like, that your, is devastating. your <laughs> grandfather. <laughs> I think that, like, to a certain extent, say telling someone what at what age exactly. That's why it's so good. Well, at what age does saying someone or telling someone to grow up simultaneously means I hope you die? <laughs> wow. Because it's like if you grow anymore, you're in the ground. I mean, it doesn't mean like physically your body to grow it's like saying you're mentality either emotionally or yeah okay i'll bite otherwise but that's that's typically how people use it why would you just bite have the whole have the whole sandwich i'm confused now i know nobody with knows sandwiches with sa- well you said i'll bite oh I okay okay that. i forgot i said that oh dang <laughs> microphone follies I fixed it. So Jeff is like seen by Hazel having, we don't see it, but Hazel's mom is having sex with Jeff and Josie. Yeah. She tells the lady who's dating Jeff, like Jeff is cheating on you. Elizabeth. Was it Elizabeth? It was Elizabeth, I think. Okay, that doesn't sound right. I looked up the names before we came. Okay, Um, but she tells her, and then coming into school that day, she's like racing up to Jeff, and Jeff's like, she's walking, she's walking so quick, quickly at me. She usually goes much slower. It's Isabel. (laughs) Isabel. Okay, you were right. I was wrong. No, but you were close. Lisbeth. Where did I get Lisbeth from? Uh, Probably from the Queen. We were talking about the Queen earlier. Were we? Yeah, with the... Oh, yeah, that movie. Yeah. Because, you know, movies have queens in them, you know? Yeah. I mean, that one did. Uh Uh, Uh-huh. Spice Girls. Isabel was walking fast towards Jeff, and he was like... Oh, saying, oh, I didn't sleep with your mom or with her mom, like... I would never cheat on you again. Like, yes, I've done it, but I'm never going to do that now. And then Hazel says, I saw you like with my mom. And then he screams, shut up, nerd. I fucked your mom. (laughs) And that like revealing like, oh, no, he did do that. But it's so funny. That's yeah, that was great. There's a lot of great moments like that in the film. Mm -hmm. You commented on it whenever Isabel was talking about she missed Jeff because she missed the way he would, like, stroke her hair and go, shiny, shiny. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And then there was another one that really, anytime Marshawn Lynch was on screen, I was cackling. Uh Uh-huh. Because he was just so funny. Yeah, a lot of beautiful moments in this movie. Yeah, it rules. When a... 
uh, El- Elizabella? Isabel. Isabel. When her and Josie start like making out, Nicole <laughs> screamed, which is, this is a <laughs> reference to a Jake and Amir episode, the David <laughs> episodes. <laughs> Amir screams, my boy's getting French tonight, not realizing like the, the, no, he's going to be like having sex with this woman. So we scream that all the time is my boy's getting French tonight. And Nicole goes, my boy's getting fingered tonight. And then I turn to Corwin and I say, that's what Nicole screams at me every night. (laughs) My boy's getting fingered tonight. And I say, no. And then a car exploded. Oh, yeah. Boom. Which was, again, Hazel not understanding sarcasm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to blow up his car. My next note, because, like, there's a lot happening. It's just, like, it's so many funny jokes. Mm -hmm. So my next thing is when they have a fight, they're found out for not actually being in juvie, and the the band is disbanded. And PJ and Josie, they're done with each other because, like, PJ's clearly in the wrong and is just, like, being very stubborn about it. They're not talking anymore. And then they, Josie goes to a babysitter they alluded to. That's Mm -hmm. how they met. They had the same babysitter in the first grade Mm -hmm. and refers to her as their gay Yoda and I want to know, Corwin, did you have a gay Yoda or have you ever been a gay Yoda? <laughs> I feel like I've been a gay Yoda okay. a, a few times at this point. I think on this show you have been. Not oh, directly I to mean, anyone, but directly. to the listeners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gay we, Yoda-esque. I, I think we've had some like teen, not like like 18 to like 22 listeners. Yeah, yeah. We have people listening. They enjoy it. Nicole, you're, I can hear that in the mic. <laughs> Just don't have your foot touching the mic stand. It was. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, I can't hear it now. You're good. Eat shit. Uh, I, I, I wish I wouldn't. D- 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 and that's what they told, uh, they said that Josie happened in juvie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she they ate, ate shit. shit. And went Literally. to juvie and, and killed a girl. We didn't talk about the juvie thing much. I I said towards the end of the movie, they did nothing wrong. And then James immediately was like, except the juvie stuff. Yeah, they lied about that. <laughs> they lied about juvie. And also not just like being there, but like one eating shit that's like a wild <laughs> thing. And then like they didn't say that they to insinuate like to like how she broke her arm. So like, oh, she ate shit. And then Hazel, who doesn't get sarcasm, goes, well, literally you ate shit. Wow, that's weird. But they never correct her. So they think she ate literal shit and... <laughs> Brought a girl in juvie to the brink of death. To death and then revived her. Oh, yeah. yeah. She She's still alive, but she died for a minute or two. I mean, it's like fucked up that they had that whole heart to heart session with everyone and then they just like lied about shit. Uh huh. Yeah, that was fucked up. I will admit that was fucked up. But the rest of it, the reason they started the club, come on. But it's like, that's why Isabel was mad. Because it's yeah. like, you were, you were lying. You emotionally manipulated me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That part, yeah, definitely. And I like that after the club kind of broke up or whatever, that Isabel and Brittany were still like going and hanging out with them. Mm-hmm. Considering they were like, you know, the, the cool ones. But they, they're best friends. Like, they're like, these are girls that I I feel a connection with. Yeah. And all of it got started because PJ and Josie were horny. Mm-hmm. That's, they, they did that. Hey, Nicole. Yeah. Like the score in Pixar movies, you can emotionally manipulate me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Thank you. Wow. Thank, thank you? <laughs> Yeah, because if you're ever like in like, oh, I can't get anything across at work. I just yeah, like yeah. wish someone would listen. I wish I could control someone for once. Yeah, just and play then, the song from Up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know it. You'd have to play the songs from like, I don't know, Troll 2 or... That's not a Pixar movie. I know, but like I, I wouldn't like get it. Like if you're trying to get to me, I'd be like, why, why is this music playing? 
But if you play, no, you would you would just feel it in your soul. You'd start feeling it. I feel you'd start you'd start being like, why do I feel like okay. I want to cry? All right. But Why am I feeling this right now? If you play the the music from the popcorn scene in Troll 2, you're going to emotionally manipulate me, okay? Into being scared. Ah, uh, I was going to say into wanting popcorn. I've never seen Trolls 2. No, it's it's not Trolls 2. That's a completely different movie. <laughs> I've never seen whatever. Troll 2. I've never seen Troll 2. Yeah. You should. It's a good one. So I don't know popcorn. I'm assuming it's... Is the Trolls 2 a different movie because it's the one with the troll, with the yeah. the dolls with the big hair? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I've been assuming you were talking about this whole time. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> no, and the, the popcorn scene is horny. It's not scary. Uh, well, I, th- th- it's so greasy on them. Yeah. It's frightening to me. Okay, then I won't play it. Okay, please don't. I won't. Play like, I don't know, the music from Up. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Nicole's gonna fight club you. <laughs> Nicole's gonna fight yeah. club you I'd today. I'd like to see her try. I mean, my money would be on Nicole. I'm pretty sure I would lose. Yeah. I'm a- actually, I'm certain <laughs> I would lose. I just sit on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's done. I have the body of an 80 year old. And boy, oh boy, I guess I'm into <laughs> gilfs. But I'm still rooting for you. And you know why? <laughs> because I think, I think James's love of you. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. strong that he wouldn't be able to beat you. Yeah, Nicole, I'll you... emotionally manipulate you, <laughs> Nicole, into you got... not being That's able to good. do it. <laughs> Nicole, you got gilf in the bones. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I got one more thing, which is telling someone you have no friends in front of all of their <laughs> friends <laughs> is such a weird thing to do. <laughs> and I said, I feel like that's the best place for that to happen because you immediately. Are, like, they're immediately proven wrong. Like Yes, but also if you're saying that to someone who is insecure, like, oh, maybe these people don't like me. Yeah. That's a, the, either way, it's extremely devastating to the person or it is the dumbest thing someone could say and, like, hold zero weight. Yeah. Also, my whole thing with that scene is, like, Hazel was, like, standing up be like, I did this in, like, talking about the club after they've just decided the club's over. Mm-hmm. Hazel trying to give herself more credit to the club running and everything, which it's fair. She did a lot. Yeah. Um, But she was like starting to try to dish something out. She was starting to try to have a little verbal fight. Mm -hmm. And as soon as PJ threw back, your mom's a skank and you don't have any friends. Hazel was done. Knocked out instantly. If PJ had said that to me, like, oh, your mom's a skank, and I would I would say, yeah, but not slutty enough to be with you. Oh, devastating. But devastating. That's, that's also really shitty because, like, that's the thing that Hazel shared in the, like, oh, yeah. their yeah. heart-to-heart meeting. So it's, like, really fucked up to then go and use that against her later. Mm-hmm. Chekhov's mm-hmm. meeting. Especially after having interrupted her to then yeah. go back and talk mm-hmm. about Brittany. Yeah. Yeah. I liked when the teacher goes, I'm going through a divorce. <laughs> he goes, whoo, that was really good. And they and need therapy. When he was so disappointed in them, he's like, I truly was believing in what you guys were doing. And then you see a montage of how everyone is reacting to what is going on and like the, how they're dealing with it. And you see him at his chalkboard and he starts to walk away from it. And you see feminism crossed out. <laughs> and then, oh, no, I'm thinking of the who started feminism, A. <laughs> no, Gloria Steinem. When he was for feminism. Yes. Be a man, man see, see another, another woman. woman. <laughs> what was the thing that he crossed out? Like why all presidents are men mm-hmm. or And why, they, why it should always be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that character is wild. I'm enjoying seeing Marshawn Lynch and stuff. Like I feel like he's been in a few uh, pop culture moment movies and... He's I've, good. Yeah, he he's been funny. I don't know how he is as a person and all that. So if he's not great, then my bad. But he's he's funny. Yeah. And then they get into a big fight at the end. They try to spray pineapple juice on Jeff. Them being the other side, the rival school, which we find out Jeff is allergic to. Pi- that was Chekhov's pineapple. Yeah. 
Jeff was allergic to pineapple because he was walking through the line going, hungry. Jeff is hungry. <laughs> Jeff is hungry. And, and then a fruit cup lands on his a thing. A fruit cup, and it had pineapple in it. And they were like, eat a bag of dicks, Janice, because Jeff is allergic. And there's a whole sign that says pineapple. It says something crazy. It's pineapple like pineapple is, is worse, worse than, than drugs. drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what the dare bear yogi bear taught me. <laughs> Pineapple is worse than drugs, apparently. Yeah, so. but then he would also say, and drugs are the worst thing imaginable. So get that in your noggin. Yeah. I think now looking back at it, it's because he wanted all the pineapple for himself. What? Because he's a gluttonous bear. That's why he was saying oh, it. Oh, you're talking about the bear. I was like, yeah. I was like, no one ate pineapple the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, I'm talking about Yogi. That's why he would tell me that. Got it. And may, does that, by the transitive property, mean he wants all drugs for himself? Yes. Yes. All right. He's a wild one. <laughs> he's the real cocaine bear. Just cocaine and housing pineapple. He'd have the worst shits imaginable. <laughs> that was also a really good movie. I have. That we haven't so seen it. So funny. You gotta watch it. Okay. It's hell great. yeah. It's great. And it's- then yeah, they they murder a couple of the rival football team. One like falls on a sword that they have propped up, and then the others just head explodes by a kick. Yeah. It was it was wild. Uh-huh. They came together. Hazel and PJ made out. Oh, yeah. Uh, starting a, a maybe a romance there. PJ didn't even need to start the whole club. Hazel was right there trying to be their friend, mm-hmm. which they were they were bad friends to anyone else. They were good friends to each other, bad friends to anyone else. I really liked one of the... We see two of the cheerleaders, one Brittany and one... I, the one who was, like, selling panties at the, in a uh, bikini. I think it's, like, Stella Rose. So she goes, oh, yeah, I'm gay. And then (laughs) Brittany goes, and I know I am not. But then I think she says, I think I'm just into gay porn. Yes. Okay. Stella Rebecca. Stella Rebecca's, oh, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm gay. That was beautiful. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Um Weird that they were selling panties to old men. Yeah. That was just a weird, like, what the fuck is going on here kind of thing. It's funny, though. And then, yeah, Stella Rebecca is gay. Brittany, who PJ's been longing after, just likes gay porn, which is probably why she enjoyed the Fight Club. Oh, yeah. That was that was their whole point, was touching, touching girls. And probably liked the kiss initially because it's like, oh, it's like I'm watching the porn that I enjoy. But then it's like, oh, wait, no, I just like watching this. Yeah. Because she seemed into it at first, that kiss. Or, but, you know, I just think she liked in the, the flirting and the attention. More. Oh, yeah. Because whenever she, whenever they kissed, she didn't do any movement. She just like s- sat there and took it, which uh, could have just been shock. Like, you know, anything. But I think she enjoyed the flirting more than she enjoyed the the kiss. Okay. Unlike me and Nicole kissing. I enjoy the flirting and the kisses. Wow. That's all I got. Like, they, uh, the day is saved thanks to them. The day is saved. Marshawn Lynch was like, damn. When the man jumped and screamed, that was fun. Mm-hmm. The little post credit scenes. Um, Their mascot the had a penis. Oh, yeah. Their mascot has straight so up penis. big penis. I don't know if it was the other, like, I feel like it, I don't know if the other team had a mascot, but I thought that's where the sword came from. I didn't think the sword came from. But they're Vikings. Yeah. I think the Viking had a sword. Yeah. I think the Viking had a sword. Yeah. You're probably right. You're probably right. I have been wondering where that sword came from for the, every single time I've watched this movie. Or rewind it. You know, that would be effort on my part. And sometimes... <laughs> no, no, we'll rewind it. And we'll let you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just, just text me. Just that's send me a text. That, that's what good friends do. Uh, add a label to the episode title um, saying, you know... Oh, you, you're going to find out by, like, reading the episode title. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just ask it in the Spotify questionnaire thing that like that <laughs> you can respond to episodes and comment on them on Spotify. That's nifty. That's I say, nifty Spotify did that. Hey, did, did you guys rewind it? Can you tell us like where that sword came from? <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck did the sword come from? Yeah, were they dragging off the mascot and it just fell out of his hands? Maybe. He, he was a bad mascot then. He should have been fighting that whole team. But why did they have a real sword 
in the first place. I don't think it was place. a real sword. I think it was just like a... Then how did they get stabbed? Because he kind of fell on it. I think it was like a piece of wood with like aluminum foil on it. Aww. Like kind of quality. Yeah, and a- anything can... Re- if it's sturdy, anything can stab you. No, yeah. you would just like bounce off of it. Not at that angle, I don't think. And she was really thrusting it in. Was <laughs> she? No. She was holding it up. Yeah, I don't know. Where'd the sword come from? What was it made of? Maybe he just Where's really wanted person? it. He just really wanted it, so he impaled himself? Yeah, like, he willed this to be... This was on his vision board. He was bumped, and he fell. That wasn't his vision at all. That, no, that was part of his vision. He wanted to get bumped and fall into a sword. Yeah, after he fell on it, he said, this was my vision. Into that girl's ear that yeah. does the paint huffing and wants uh-huh. to kill her stepdad. And then she realizes as his last breath leaves, huffing that is what really gives her excitement. So now she oh, needs to no. be. She's a serial killer now. Uh-huh. That'd be a real good. Um, Sequel? Yeah. A spinoff? Where it's just like instead of a teen movie, like a teen high school coming of age movie that they're doing like this very hyper comedy thing to it's a slasher movie. And it's got the the uh, emo kid that wanted to blow up the school. Oh, yeah. As <laughs> yeah. well. I had another thought, but I have lost it to the ether. It is gone. There are no more thoughts to be had. You want to know who else was lost to the ether? Jay-Z. Nas put out a really big song called Ether Dissing Him, and he, he lost. Oh, I had no idea. Well, now you do. Hopefully that comes up in trivia and you're like, Jay-Z lost to Ether. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that would be the answer to a trivia question in my future, but, you know, maybe. It's, it's not a 0% okay. percent chance of it not happening. A trivia you know? that you're at might start like, Beyonce married this man who lost to Ether. And I'd have to be like, so well, then I, I know Beyonce's husband is Jay Z. Oh yeah, see, because then that's but Beyonce I would know that without knowledge. The ether thing. Uh, but that's they would Beyonce. they'd include that too because maybe uh, the Illuminati has some second husband for him, and someone in the Illuminati could be there and say, um, actually, but if you specify the husband lost to Ether, the Bitcoin. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, that's a very old person thing you just said. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, all this Bitcoin stuff. You got Ether, you got dog coin. There's so much Bitcoin out there. Ah! Henry jumped up again and said, you know, crypto. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. I that's think it. That's it. This move, it rocks. It's on, you know, MGM Plus, and uh, which by that also means it's on Amazon Prime on Amazon Prime. It's great. Highly recommend. Nicole? What? Do you recommend? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From a Nicole. That's a high rating, I uh-huh. feel. <laughs> Out of all the Nicole's movies Nicole's watched with us, uh, oh, yeah. Great. Mm-hmm. Through the moon. James? A five out of five. Five out of five for the horny lesbian movie. I love it. For the bottoms. For the bottoms. Yeah, why was this called bottoms? Because they wanted to bottom. Okay. Because they're gay, ugly, and untainted. <laughs> <laughs> and at the bottom of the food chain for the high school. Okay. The bottom of the barrel. Yeah, that was a know. very... Oh, yeah, that could be it, too. Yeah. There's a many play on words you could put, but I really liked them saying... No, they don't hate us because we're gay. They hate us because we're, we're gay uh, and untalented. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Such a beautiful distinction. Well, Nicole, what you got to plug, if anything? Just darlinghomebody.com. Go there for stuff that I make. Yeah. You got a cicada <laughs> sticker out now. That's real yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. I get Nicole's stickers, and they're beautiful. Thanks. Corwin, you got anything to plug? I mean, no, nothing additional. All right. I, follow me on uh, things slash core winning. That's it. And hey, guys, uh, who knows if we'll do one soon, but you got this and it was fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I've been telling people when they ask, we got to make it to 100. Oh, yeah. Because uh, we're so close to 100 episodes. Now. It's 96 now. The reason we're doing this special episode is I am hanging out with James one last time before I take a a break from Chicago. 
um, I will be back. Mm -hmm. Um, But until then, who knows? You're hanging out with family for an extended period of time. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And guys, if you want more Corwin content, please listen to Formulaic, a podcast and script writing where you're on many table reads of that. And the 200th episode of Mostly Speaking Sentai you were on, and that was one of the funniest episodes ever. (laughs) So guys, check those out. And while you're at it, maybe listen to Sweaty Time Pro Wrestling or Shuffling the Deck or Death to Squids. It's all on the same podcast feed, the Marshland Media Podcast feed. Wherever you're listening to this, you can listen to that. Listen to my music under Marsh Land Monster. That's three words. And head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod where for $5 a month, you get exclusive content every single Friday. This Friday, I don't know when. I guess this is coming out next Monday. So I think it's engaged with Nicolas Cage covering maybe. No, it's not Ghost Rider 2 yet. Or is it? I don't remember. It's We're in that period of Nicolas Cage stuff. We had just done the w- season of The Witch, not The Witcher. And it was, it was pretty good. I don't know why that movie gets shit on so much. Like, it's bad, but it's not. It was not, mid. Yeah. It, it's run of the mill, like two and a half, three stars, you know? It's, it's serviceable entertainment. But also, if you're over there, you you can do a $10 <laughs> tier where you get monthly bonus exclusive content on top of the weekly. This summer, we're doing summer mockbusters where we're discussing just mockbuster movies. I'm realizing the Asylum did Sharknado and then like everything else that it might not be good. We'll We'll figure it out. Already, we're zero for two on even fun movies. We did Transmorphers and coming out at the end of the month. It's already recorded. Steve Barnes came over from Virginia. He was in that chair. Wow. And Here? Yeah, and we discussed Gacy House. It was a very fun recording. Interesting. Nice. And $10 patrons get their name read on every single, a shout out, I should say, on every single free feed podcast. So let's begin with those, starting with Steve F., Eric Berry of Ranger Command Power Hour, Alex Z, The Waz, Orion, Jordan B, The Chaos Witch, My Bickle Brother in Common Law, Joshua, Jacus, the aforementioned Steve Barnes, A Sweet Child of Time, a podcast that you've guessed it on as well. Yeah. Lil Corey's BFF and now former roommate Shane. Uh... Oh, no, I lost it. I lost it. Me? Uh, uh, Steve Barnes, a sweet child of time. Lil Corey's BFF and now former roommate that that fed. Uh, no, th- <laughs> Shane is the former roommate. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shane. Mm-hmm. And then we have Henry Quit eating my cords. And <laughs> then we have that fed, twitch.tv forward slash core winning. It's Corwin. And <laughs> from the ROM complex as well as a podcast. No, shoot. Formulaic, a podcast and script writing. It's twitch.tv forward slash r2 shelby2 i didn't have the list in front of me that's why it was a little choppy you did great you basically have that memorized Uh uh-huh okay guys let's get some more ten dollar (laughs) patrons yeah that way it messes up your memorization yeah i just gotta add one more it's like simon says there (laughs) i'm gonna find so many people and then you're gonna not know what to do i would love that please find those people (laughs) What have you been? I would if I could. I would if I could. Oh no! I was gonna say, what have you been doing the last four years? You knew those people. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for listening. It's always a joy to have you here, Corwin. It's a joy to be here, James. And those were our names. And this, and also Nicole. Hi. And this is, or and we've been been this this movie's gay. gay. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Oh no, we do bye, don't we? We just do random bye byes. Random byes. Bye. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) See you guys. Bye. This has been a Marshland Media production, produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod and sign up today. Gotta get out of here. I'm talking. I I O U. LMN. LMN O P. QRS. TV. W X Y Z. I can't do that backwards. I E. Can you do that backwards? No. You. O. I, I no E I no no it'd be I E A. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, because A, B, C, D, U, O, e, F, y, G, H, I. U, O, A, E, I. No. No. Why is the A in the middle? <laughs> oh, I. Mr. Big Stuff saying, like, oh, yeah, 10 milligrams oh, fine you? for me right now. I just okay. said I can't do the alphabet backwards, and then you're going to hit me with that? Uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, we're recording. Good. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah.